these flies have got the whole countryside to fly around in and yet they're choosing to fly into my windscreen. Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. I am on the A34 heading south down towards the docks. This is the part where I would normally say let's get cracking, but traffic. I've already been down to the docks this morning. I had to go to one of the off dock storage areas and then round to the actual docks themselves. Container put on, up to the yard, dropped and swapped trailer for this one and it's back down to the docks, box off, box on and then make my way towards my delivery site. Not much of a queue down at the docks, but I did have to wait around for a little while to have the container lifted on. I've been into the services and had my 30 minute break. So that means I can now make it all the way up to the delivery site in Wales. Due there about six o'clock, I do need to stop to get some food on the way up. I'm gonna go into the supermarket in Risca and get some food for the week. Plenty of drink because the weather is a little bit warm and then try and do this delivery tonight it's not due till half past six tomorrow so if i can deliver it tonight that's a bonus because i do have enough drive time to get up there and a bit further back out as well as enough working time as well so yeah if i can do that that means i can get myself ahead tomorrow it also means because i am working still it means when i stop a bit later hopefully it's a little bit cooler, so I don't have to contend with sitting around in a hot cab all evening. Arrived on site at about six o'clock and I'm now being tipped. Time is currently quarter to six. They were having their break when I got here and they had another truck to unload, so I've had to wait for them to do that. Can't really moan though, because I am 12 hours early effectively so yeah what that means is I can start nice and early tomorrow get back to the yard trailer swap and then get back up here and then hopefully make it back to the yard again tomorrow so that I can stay ahead for the week but if you've watched previous videos you know that doesn't always work out delivery's done took about 20 minutes to do now I just need to go and find somewhere to park up for the evening and then I can have something to eat. Yeah, need to find somewhere in the shade, preferably because according to the temperature gauge, it's still 30 degrees and it is currently seven o'clock. So yeah, a little bit warm. <laughs> Last night's sleep wasn't exactly the best night's sleep. It was just far too hot, took far too long to get to sleep. Woke up this morning at about four o'clock. Couldn't actually start till uh, five o'clock this morning. Making my way back to the yard where I'm gonna be doing the trailer swap and heading back into Wales. Gonna get a break on the way up and the way back. See what happens. Not sure what I've got for the rest of the week yet. I will give the boss a call see what time she's in if she's in by the time I'm finished in the yard I'll find out what I've got for the rest of the week hopefully and then plan from there got 
back to the yard and dropped my trailer. Went into the office to see the boss, find out what I was doing in between my deliveries from this morning that I did last night and the one I've got this afternoon. And she's asked me to come down to the docks. So I'm on my way down to the docks now. I've got about 10 minutes to go-ish. And then that's my container that I need for tomorrow morning's delivery. And so I take that back to the yard, drop that one there, hitch up to the one I need for this afternoon's delivery and then hopefully I then make it back this evening and I can turn around and head back towards Wales again tonight so I'm over there nice and early for tomorrow morning's delivery. Not long left the yard after doing my trailer swap, having been down to the docks and just currently going through Marlborough. I do need to stop for a break on the way up to the delivery site in Wales. So probably gonna stop in Lee Delamere services and get a shower whilst I'm there as well, because yes, it's still a little bit warm today. Still a little bit sweaty, not very nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna get a shower and then um, that's done today and then yeah, hopefully it does cool down a little bit tonight and doesn't stay as warm as it did last night. Uh, when I get back to the yard later, it's another trailer swap and hopefully I've got another little bit of driving time left and I can start heading back towards Wales for tomorrow morning as well. But we shall see. Currently on five hours, 14 drive time now. Just got about two hours from here to go. Yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be close to whether I've got some drive time or not. If I've not, then I will just go home tonight. That way I've not got to sleep in the truck. Uh, and then that probably means I'll be out on Thursday night instead. On the way up to the delivery site, my fuel light came on. Not too much of an issue. It said I still had a hundred and seven miles worth of range left. And the round trip back to the fuel station that I could use, because I've already gone past that one on the M4, said it was about 40 miles, so more than enough. Yet when I got to the delivery site and switched my engine on after being on the loaded bay, it told me I had 40 miles left. So yeah, only just made it into Magor services, literally chugging along a little bit annoyingly. But yeah, it just goes to show you can't always rely on the range calculator because it's not always accurate, I'm guessing. Uh, making my way back to the yard now and I'm going to be running out of drive time in the yard pretty much. So I'll make it back there. Should hopefully have enough drive time to trailer swap but then I'm not going to be able to go anywhere, so I'm just going to park up for the night and actually go home. So that is me done in the yard for tonight. It's time to get home, go get something to eat, get a shower, get to bed, and then be back in here for about four o'clock in the morning. Start about half past four tomorrow, and then make my way to Wales again. Just finishing filling in my daily check. Once I've done that, I will be going off to the delivery site in Wales. Back and forth to Wales is getting a little bit boring this week, I'm not gonna lie. So yes, definitely looking forward to doing something different this afternoon and for the next few days. I already know what I'm doing for the rest of the week, which is handy, because it means I can uh, plan what exactly I'm gonna be doing in terms of where I'm gonna be stopping and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get this trip done to Wales and then 
on to something different. When I'm doing this sort of job, we have to do a lot of trailer swaps. So things like that just become second nature. loaded at my collection in Basingstoke just programming the sat nav now for my delivery which is in uh, Bridgewater um, there it is there on the sat nav let's see how long it's gonna take to get there press that button there it's just calculating the route so two and a half hours so gonna need a break on the way down um gonna be there about half past five they don't want this till half past eight tomorrow morning so i potentially can park out the front of their unit i'll have to see if there is space when i get down there if not i think there is a truck stop or services in bridgewater i have to find out
having a little bit of an issue. So coming along the A303 and I get to the uh, roundabout past Stonehenge, having sat through the traffic to get past Stonehenge. And the reason there's so much traffic is because the 303 past that roundabout is closed. Now, I know how I can get around that in a car because I have to do that fairly regularly to go and see family members. But in a truck, yeah, I've not happened to do it before. So all the sat nav is wanting to do is turn me back around and take me to the 303 again. But I am having to ignore that and go where I know that I can go and keep an eye out for what's going on because yeah it's um going to be causing me a lot of issues Made it onto the 303, just in a lay by now having my break. Got about 10 minutes left before I need to leave. Still gonna make it to the delivery site tonight, even though I know I'm not booked in until half past eight tomorrow. So a bit of a lie in for me, which will be good. So yeah, had all dinner already, had some to eat, drink. Just gonna chill out for the evening when I get there. So I've arrived at the delivery site and it's open. Well, the gate's open. So I've been in and spoke to someone and asked if I can park on their land tonight through the gate. And they've said, yeah. So I'm gonna drive into there, keep over to one side and park up for the night. delivery has now been done uh, yeah hell of a commute I had to get there this morning literally step out of the cab and undo the curtains uh, they were ready for me at seven o'clock this morning I'd already had my time off and already got out and undone the curtains and they were like oh we're ready for you now drive so yeah unstrapped the load and loaded up the stuff that has to go back because we take some stuff back to the place where we collected from and yeah, sat there and had to wait for a bit of paperwork. So it's half past eight now, and I wasn't actually booked in till now. So I'm ahead of myself by about an hour and a half effectively, because that's how long the whole process took. Got about a 40 minute drive to the next delivery, and that's down some interesting roads. A little bit tight, twisty and windy roads, but I've done it several times. So I know roughly where I'm going, I know roughly what the roads are like, so yeah, just crack on with that now. Delivery's done, now I'm just making my way back to the yard. When I get back to the yard, I've got to get this trailer loaded with the stuff I need to drop off tomorrow. And then after I've done that, it will be home time. So go get the kids from my parents, take them home, and yeah, chill out for the evening. Well, it's finally Friday, and I've got one more delivery and one more collection to do. Lucky for me, they are in the same place got to go over the old bridge into Wales and then I'm going up into Gloucestershire and into a tiny little village through some twisty windy country roads so it's going to be a bit interesting. ETA is seven o'clock but it'll be a little bit later than that because I will be stopping for breakfast on the way up as well and then once I've done that it's back to the yard wash the truck off screen wash add blue usual end of week stuff prep the truck for next week and then I get to go home.
collection and a delivery are now done. Not in that order though, because I had to deliver the stuff first and then collect it. Uh, yeah, because it's recycling stuff as well. There's lots of paperwork to deal with. The chain of custody for recycled material. So just paper and paper and paper, which is quite ironic really, because of needing to recycle and we've got to fill in a load of paperwork. But yeah, that is what it is. Now I've got to make my way back to the yard. I didn't stop for breakfast on the way up because it was too early to get any, so I'm going to get some breakfast on the way back. Just leaving the services, stopped in there and had my bacon roll and an orange juice. And I did also treat myself to some yum yums didn't actually cost me very much to be honest because I had some vouchers left over from fueling up so yeah all of that I think I only actually had to pay one pound or 75 or something like that it was so not too bad I've got about an hour and 20 minutes from here to get back to the yard I've tried calling the boss to see if there is anything else for me to do but she's not answered so she's bound to call me back in a few minutes and then tell me whether there is or isn't anything else for me to do she hasn't told me by the time I get back then I'll assume I'm going home. All right. Got back to the yard and the boss has asked me if I can go down to the docks to get rid of an empty container and go round to one of the off-dock storage areas and get a full container. So, so much for that earlier finish. Finished down at the docks, not much of a queue in the docks themselves, but a bit of a queue at the off-dock storage area. Uh, luckily mine was one of the boxes on top of the stack, so they managed to get to me quite quickly, which made it a little bit easier for me. A little bit of traffic to get me back up towards the yard, but not too much really, just the usual pre-rush hour traffic. It's just gone two o'clock now, so not quite rush hour. There was a broken down lorry on the 303 as I was coming out. It was heading back towards our yard, so hopefully they've recovered that by the time I get up there. It had a puncture, so yeah, hopefully that's been sorted and it's moved. Otherwise, there's gonna be a bit more traffic the closer I get to the yard, but we'll see what happens when I get up there. Well, that is me done for another week going to end the video here thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy the video please like comment subscribe all of those good things and I shall catch you in the next one <laughs>